Welcome back. The darkness of Hollywood. Hollywood shining a spotlight on sexual assault as more women continue to come forward. We're talking about this right now with actress, entrepreneur, and author of Choose Company, a 50-year romance with lessons learned in love, life, and business, author Suzanne Summer. Suzanne, it's great to see you. You too. I love having you on, and it's just been really a highlight of my career to get to know you. So thank, thank you. you so much. Likewise. Uh, yeah, well, we want to get to your... Exactly. We right. Exactly. want to get to your book and all that you've done, <laughs> because you really are a quintessential small business person yep. since being a, a fantastic entertainer for decades. Uh, you detail your own close call in assault in, in, in the book as well in Two's Company. What's your take on what's going on in Hollywood, the sexual assault allegations, Harvey Weinstein, etc.? Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, I, you know, I don't know him, but I remember one night at the, uh, I was standing next to him at the Vanity Fair Oscar party waiting for our limos. Isn't that relatable? <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, very funny. There was this guy there, and I said to, I didn't know who he was, and I said to Alan, Man, that guy had a dark vibe. Really? Isn't that interesting that yeah. I picked up on that? You picked up a dark yeah. vibe. Yeah, so I, I'm, I, I had an opportunity to be in the movie business. They just get up too darn early. <laughs> I was offered a three-picture deal at uh, Disney with Michael Eisner. And um, I had a manager at the time who uh, said he wasn't offering enough money. So it was outrageous fortune, um, fabulous Baker Boys, <laughs> and some really great movies. So I'm not all that smart. Anyway, I have not experienced a lot of that, right. but I, I chronicle one there just in the very early days. You know, when you're really young in this business and you need money, you find yourself in precarious situations. And there was a modeling trip that I was on. Um, there, I probably was 21 years old, and my son had a lot of doctor bills, and so I took this job, and it was the most unsafe I've ever felt. Wow. With four men I didn't know, a rickety airplane, and a creepy guy who was at the house who, when the men left, I'm left alone with a creepy guy, and it was, I, I, I chronicle that. It was one of the scariest nights of my life. Well, that's so, but the thing. I, but I nobody mean, dangled jobs for right. me, and you do this, and you'll, you'll get a job. Right. I, I have not experienced that. But, but you make a good point, because you're you're there you're alone with these four guys you don't yeah. know where it could go right. you're young you need the money right and sort of you're you're easy to take advantage of. yeah really easy right and when we get there um, the the photographer I, I go in my room and it's two twin beds and the photographer walks in and goes we're bunking together I said are you kidding oh great are you kidding he said don't worry I said I you know I, I shoot for Playboy I see women that's naked. ridiculous I know I know but but think when you're 20 you don't have any power exactly. you don't think you have any power so it was sort of like oh okay right and, th and these stories are really important to educate those 20 year olds right yeah, now exactly who, who don't have the power and don't understand right. you can push back right and you can say no yeah okay let's talk about your book okay. because okay. I want to hear about how you've done this you're so successful <laughs> <laughs> Choose Company, a 50-year romance with lessons learned in love, life, and business is your most personal yet. It's a memoir and a love story. Tell it us is. about it. It is. I'm in love with Alan Hamill, and I've been in love with him since I was, you know, 20 years old. What a beautiful thing to it say. It is. It is. We have this wonderful relationship, but, but a real interesting arc in this book, and you don't know. That's why I, I, I didn't start out calling it Choose Company. I started out calling it Us. But then when I got fired from Three's Company for having the audacity when my contract was up to ask for parity with the men, all the men were making 10 to 15 times more than me, and I'm on the number one show. Incredible. And I've got the highest demographics of any woman in television. But they had decided, because Laverne and Shirley had renegotiated and got back end and, and big salaries, that we have to stop this. So Alan got a call the night before the negotiation. We're going to hang a nun in the marketplace, and it's going to be Suzanne. And that's what happened. He walked in. It was a non-negotiation negotiation. Non -negotiation negotiation.